So I'm currently based in a small Australian country town in New South Wales called Canawindra. Now that's how it's spelled, right? But things in Australia are always unique. The terrain, the animals, the land, the accent. And so the locals actually call it Canoundra. It's a nice little town with about 2,000 people. Now, as I'm taking a walk in the town's main park, I'm really inspired to share with you guys a really awesome metaphor that you can apply in your life. And that's coming up, so keep watching. Now, our life is really precious and people apply different metaphors to life in order to help them live their life according to certain ideals. You would have heard of common sayings like life is a journey where you're going from one place to another or that it's like an adventure where you don't really know where you're going. People who are more competitive compare life to be like a race where you're always trying to beat the other person. Or in the corporate world, people compare life to be like a ladder where you're always trying to climb up on top of the other person to reach the top. Let me introduce you to this guy. This is a tree and I want you to become more like him. For life in general and especially spiritual life, the yoga texts recommend following the example of trees. Here's some important reasons why trees set an example which is ideal for all of us to follow. Now first of all is their quality of tolerance or forbearance. Now trees have to tolerate so many things. The weather conditions like heat, sunshine, hail, snow, and not just weather conditions, but also we take so many things from trees. We take their bark, we take the wood, leaves, fruits, and flowers, and people inscribe their initials onto trees as well. Even if one cuts a tree down, it doesn't protest. And even if a tree is drying up and dying, it doesn't ask anyone for water. So trees are extreme examples of tolerance or forbearance. And that's a quality that we really need to develop. We're always experiencing duality in the mature world. There's sunny days, there's rainy days. Sometimes we meet people we like, sometimes we meet people who we'd rather avoid. You might be rich now or in the future you might be poor. If you base your happiness on one side of the duality, then you're not always gonna be happy. For instance, if you just like hot, sunny days, then when the weather is cold or it's raining, you're not gonna be very happy. So we need to learn to tolerate both sides of the duality and look for a deeper type of happiness. Now, here's a nice one. Trees are observant. They stand for hundreds and even thousands of years and bear witness to great empires and civilizations forming and then collapsing. Have you ever just stopped and observed the rat race of your life and thought about who you are and what you're doing and where you're going? If we don't evaluate our life, then we end up not doing things in life that we wanted to do. And in that sense, we become victimized by time. The yoga texts explain that the best thing that we should observe is that I see everyone around me getting old and dying, but I still live my life as if I'm gonna live forever. Point number three, trees are magnanimous. Even though they tolerate so many conditions, trees keep giving very liberally. They tolerate the sun, but they give us shade. They give us leaves, flowers, roots, wood. They take our carbon dioxide and they give us fresh oxygen. In this way, trees demonstrate their determination to keep doing good to others and benefiting others regardless of the physical dualities that they experience. So if someone teases you or makes fun of you, then the mature spiritual approach is to tolerate that person as far as possible and still act for that person's welfare instead of holding grudges or ego clashes, which aren't good for you or the other person. This is called being non-envious and demonstrates real strength of character. So if you can apply even to a small degree these three qualities that trees demonstrate, then I guarantee you're gonna be a much more peaceful, wise, and content person. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us your thumbs up by clicking the like button, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to watch our other videos as well. I'll see you next time.